I have something very exciting to share with you guys today. Uh, you've probably seen the first part of this, uh, if you've paid attention to the news or if you're a science maven like I am. Uh, this right here is an image of SPTCLJ0546-5345. That's a mouthful, but that is the official designation of what you're looking at right now, and it is the largest galaxy cluster ever discovered. It was discovered by analyzing uh, tiny distortions in the cosmic microwave background radiation, which, uh, as you, some of you probably may know, is the echo of the Big Bang itself. It's, uh, micro it's uh, microwave background radiation that is found everywhere we look in the sky, no matter where you point your radio telescope, uh, you will see this microwave background radiation all over. It, 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 it's like sort of the outer shell of the observable universe. And actually, it's even detected by our uh, electronic instruments. It, you can't really see static on TVs anymore. The newer TVs have the blue screen that comes up whenever they're static when it can't get a signal. But if you have an old TV and you click it to a channel that there's nothing on that isn't receiving any signal and you get that static, about 1% of the static on a TV or, or a radio that picks up uh, no signal, about 1% of that static is the cosmic microwave background radiation. It's the echo of the Big Bang, the creation of the universe. And uh, NASA scientists were looking at it, and they discovered these uh, sort of uh, distortions in the microwave background radiation, the CMB, and uh, they looked a little closer at it, and they discovered this humongous galaxy cluster. And like I say, it's, it's the largest galaxy cluster ever discovered. They estimate it has the mass of 800 trillion stars the size of our own sun. So think about that. It's as massive as 800 trillion suns. They think there are possibly hundreds and hundreds of galaxies in it. And uh, let's take a look at that picture again. Uh, each one of those uh, dots that you see in that uh, image is pretty much a galaxy. Everything you see in this photograph is a galaxy. And the, the ones uh, that are circled in yellow are old galaxies uh, that would be sort of a flat disk shaped. And then the ones circled in blue are newer galaxies, younger galaxies, that may be spiral formation galaxies like our own galaxy. The younger galaxies seem to be the ones that have the more ornate formations, the spiral formations. The older galaxies are the ones that are just sort of simple, compact, disc-shaped. And we see both in this image. Now, this cluster of galaxies is about 7 billion light years away from Earth. Not only is it 7 billion light years distant, but it has taken the light from these objects 7 billion years to reach us. So you're not only looking at a distant object, you're looking at a distant object in the past. So what you're looking at right now is how this massive cluster of galaxies appeared 7 billion years ago. And uh, astronomers estimate that the galaxy cluster as it actually exists in space today, which we can't see because it's too distant, uh, may be as many as four times this big. And it's already the largest galaxy cluster we've ever observed. So this thing is just ultra massive. So huge, we, we can barely fathom how huge this is. It's one of the biggest things we've ever found in the universe, and it's just so exciting. Even more exciting is the fact that this, this photograph here is the one that has been released to the media. Uh, it's not even the best view that we get of this uh, phenomenon, this amazing gal galaxy cluster. Uh, you may be familiar with the website Galaxy Zoo, and I have it here on the laptop. Galaxy Zoo is uh, a website that allows you to look at photographs taken by the Hubble telescope 
of galaxies and, and to assist in the science of classifying the galaxies. It's a really fun site and, and uh, a great way to sort of be part of something. You can help with the actual real nuts and bolts scientific work of astronomy. You look through a, a series of photographs of galaxies. There are literally billions of galaxies that we can see and make images of. And you help them uh, at Galaxy Zoo by classifying the galaxies that you are showing, whether, they're a, whether it's a disk, whether it's a spiral, whether it's a globule, uh, what angle we see it at, whether it's a flat disk suggesting that we're seeing it face on, or whether it's sort of cigar shaped suggesting, suggesting that we're seeing it more on the edge. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun, and it's something that, like I say, if you're a space nut like I am, you can just waste hours and hours and hours on this site classifying these galaxies and looking at these amazing pictures. Uh, but as a member of Galaxy Zoo, I was contacted shortly after the news broke via email uh, about the massive new galaxy cluster to help test uh, a new feature on Galaxy Zoo which is still in beta testing. And it's this incredible uh, feature called uh, the grav scope. And with the grav scope, what you're actually able to do is take advantage of uh, gravity lensing, which is where scientists will use, uh, they'll sort of look through one distant object towards another yet more distant object and the gravity of the nearer object will have a magnification effect and will actually increase the range and the uh, detail you can get from uh, a telescope image looking through the gravity lens. It's still in beta testing but you can, uh, I'm going to show you exactly how it works. You will not believe this. Um, the laptop is hooked up to the camera here, so you can you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Uh, this is let me see. There's Galaxy Zoo. Okay, now I'm on. I'm going to show this to you now. Now I'm on uh, <clears throat> the Gravscope site, and I'm going to try to zero in on one of the galaxies in this gigantic cluster, and we'll see what it looks like. Um, let me see. I'll just pick one at random here. Okay and I'm switching it over to the camera now. Okay, it's uh, it's zooming in and it's this the, the 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 detail you can get with this is amazing with this gravity lens technology. You can actually look inside one of these distant galaxies that and you can see what was happening in them 7 billion years ago. It's it's crazy technology. And uh, you'll be if you if you're a member of Galaxy Zoo, you've probably done this already, and you're probably sick of it. But for everyone who who's not and who hasn't done this yet, I'm, I just want to show you an example of what it's like. You zoom in. We'll zoom in on one of the younger galaxies here. And okay, we're getting an image. Look at that. Look, look, look. You can see you can see a planet. You can see ships. They're, it's like uh, starships. Wait a minute. Whoa, wait a minute. This looks really familiar. This, this is the Star Wars galaxy I'm looking at. Look. It's, this, is, this is it. This is Star Wars. Through the telescope. So does this mean that George Lucas was lying when he said that he just ripped Star Wars off of the Hidden Fortress? I guess so. Let me, let me try a different, I'm, I'm gonna, let me look elsewhere in this galaxy. Let me try something else here. Okay, we, we must be on, we're looking at Tatooine. We're, there's something about the, the radio telescope. You, it, it has this software that it can actually, you can sort of zero in on whatever you want to see, whether it's behind a structure, on the other side of the planet, whatever. The radio telescope can, can pinpoint whatever you want to look at. And then there's this incredibly sophisticated software that translates it to visual images. Uh... It, this is amazing. Oh, wait, holy shit, there's Han Solo. It's Han Solo and Greedo at the Moss Eisley Cantina. Oh, no, okay, we have to watch this. Let's, let's see what happens here. Oh, come on. Okay, we're going to settle this once and for... Oh, you can't, you can't tell who shoots first. The galaxies are moving away from us, so everything we see is redshifted. You can't tell with the redshift whose blaster goes off first. 
I guess we'll never, I guess we'll never know whether Han shot first or Greedo shot first. Let me look somewhere else. There seems to be some sort of weird time dilation going on. Like, it's not, we're not quite seeing it in real time. I don't know if that's the telescope's fault or if uh, there's some kind of lag involved with just the incredible distance, but there's something else. This is the Star Wars Holiday Special. It's actually happening. I have never seen this. I have never seen this. Because, I mean, they, they never released it on DVD. Okay, I'm going to watch this. Uh, uh, I'm going to cut this off, and I'm going to have to watch this, because I've never seen this before. And I, it's not like I can hit rewind. It's actually happening. Uh, so anyway, Galaxy Zoo, the grab scope, you can pick a galaxy out of the picture and, and just watch what's going on. It, this is incredible. Uh, I, don't, I can't remember which galaxy this is. Uh, which I think it's the, 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 the blue circled one sort of in the, on the upper left. Uh, and maybe if you sign on right now and you hurry, you can, you can catch uh, Return of the Jedi. Uh, I'm not sure how far the time dilation goes, how fast it is. But anyway, I got to watch this. The holiday special is almost over. I got to see the ending where they all sing and do all that shit. So that's it. Uh, enjoy it. Have fun. Science is amazing, isn't it? Uh, bye.